dear students welcome to all of you to today's class first of all a very good morning to all of you but before starting the class as usual let's do brahmanat open your eyes so as you know today we are going to read a new chapter and this is an one act play named the unexpected written by ella atkins okay so but before starting it let me tell you what is the meaning of the word the unexpected it means something definitely beyond the expectation has taken place that's why the chapter's name is the unexpected now listen so so many times you must have seen the one act play and the previous chapter was also in one act play the mother's day mrs pizzerall okay that one mrs pearson spill personality so this chapter the unexpected is also in one act play it means <coughs> the cj <coughs> stage performance and but here this one is to some extent a suspense play it is a thrilling experience to read this one and today we are going to read half of your first unit but before starting the chapter let me introduce you with the characters the characters are mrs parker alice tom joe bagger convict means one convict means he is being accused of something and one warden these are the characters present in this chapter okay now let's go to the text scene and as soon as you want to play definitely first of all there will be the clear and brief description on the scene so likewise here also a room in a lonely cottage in dartmoor dartmoor is the name of a place there is a lonely cottage means a single cottage is present The room is simply furnished, and the room is also well furnished. Simply furnished. It was not a dirty room. It was a cozy one. Table set for tea. A table was there, which was set for the tea. Down right corner armchair, and in the right hand side corner there is the armchair. Left corner door up right, and armchair down left corner also. Listen, the table was in the down right corner. Armchair was in the left corner. and right up there was the door door up left at rise of curtain mrs so the curtain was there and when the curtain raises mrs parker was seen curtain mrs parker is discovered at table preparing tea and when the curtain raises what was happening what was the scenario the scenario was mrs parker was preparing tea for someone or for herself only it is not mentioned knock said do and in the meantime when she was preparing tea there was knocking on the door left at the door left in the left hand side door mrs parker answers it enter alice and tom and when there was a knock on the door mrs at that time what was mrs parker doing she was preparing tea and when there was the knock on the door mrs parker answered it it means definitely she has opened it and when she opened two people two boys they entered these are the two person who entered into the room of mrs parker okay this is the scene mrs parker hello i certainly didn't expect to see you boys this afternoon so these two are the boys young is boy 17 16 or 15 years old boy so mrs parker when she saw them she is speaking i was not expecting that you will turn up you will come this afternoon alice We had to cycle over to see you then Alice is speaking yes we are also not expecting to come but to see you you we came by cycle Mrs Parker we have brought you an exciting piece of news and the two boys Alice and Tom they were having an exciting piece of news for Mrs Parker Mrs Parker have you indeed really is it so do you have an exciting piece of news for me well come along 
Come along inside. I expect it's hot, hot tea and cakes that you are needing. So here, Mrs. Parker is speaking. Okay, okay. First of all, you enter into. You just come in, and I think that you need. You are expecting hot tea as well as cake, and these two things are there, which is being needed by you. It means Mrs. Parker, as she was an elderly lady, that's why she was also able to understand the feeling of the boys, and she was offering tea as well as cake to the boys. Tom and Alice cross left corner. Then left corner is being crossed by Tom and Alice. Closing door and crossing right above table. You boys should not be allowed on the moose. Moose means what? Moose means marshy land. Means the land which is not clean, dirty. Means the place is quite muddy, mesh up. Okay, marshes. The moors on such an afternoon as this. Then Mrs. Parker is speaking that you boys are not allowed to go to the moor because that place is not good. That is a dirty place. That is a marshy land. Means wet, muddy land. That is. The fog is getting thicker every minute, and every minute the fog is also getting thicker. It means, directly, he was speaking that you should not go there because you won't be able to see anything there because fog is growing thicker. At the same time, the land is quite marshy. Sit down at once, and I will pour out some tea. So you both of you sit down. I am going to give you some tea. It means here. Uh, see one thing, Mrs. Parker was showing motherly love, motherly attitude towards Tom and Alice. Mrs. Parker, now what's this exciting piece of news? Then she is asking, okay, now settle down and speak me. What's the exciting piece of news? Who was asking? Mrs. Parker was asking. Tom, two convicts escaped from the prison this afternoon. Then Tom is speaking. You know, Mrs. Parker, two convicts means two accused, two prisoners. They have run away from the prison this afternoon. Who is speaking? Tom is speaking to Mrs. Parker. Mrs. Parker has a tea cozy in her hand. Tea cozy means uh, an insulating piece of cloth which is used to cover up the means uh, teapot in order to keep it warm for some time. And she was having a tea cozy in her hand. At this it says it drops it and remains motionless. So, she was just think. Suppose think that this is it. She called this. She was holding it in her hand. And when she heard this news, she just dropped it. And she was motionless. She was not speaking anything else. Who? Oh, Mrs. Parker. Because definitely this news was an unexpected piece of news on the part of Mrs. Parker. Alish is according to what we heard, they got away from a working gang about half an hour ago. Then Alice is speaking that is according to the news some working people means some prisoners were working somewhere and from there they have run away they have escaped from that from that place when the mist came on so suddenly and when the mist when the fog came so suddenly by taking the advantage of the fog the two prisoners escaped from the place they are believed to be somewhere on the moors but all are expecting all are believing that they must be somewhere in the moor and of course, everyone in the village suddenly noticing Mrs. Parker's expression and all are expecting that the two prisoners might be in the village or they must have hidden in the village and Mrs. Parker's expression changed. Okay, her facial expression was completely changed and it was being noticed by Tom and Alice. Why Mrs. Parker, what's up? Then they're speaking, Mrs. Parker, what happened? What happened? Rising and picking up tea cozy and they were just got up from their seat. They picked up the tea cozy and said, Mrs. Parker, what happened? What happened? I say, I believe we have frightened you. Okay, you are being frightened by our, our words, isn't it? Who is speaking? Alice is speaking because the two boys were expecting that Mrs. Parker was quite scared of the news that the two convicts are being escaped from the jail. Tom, there's nothing to be scared about. You know, the convicts are not likely to come this way. And anyhow, Alice and I are with you. Then Tom is speaking. There is nothing to worry. No need to worry. And the convicts are not going to come here. And apart from this, I and Alish, we both are with you. So you should not worry about it. Mrs. Parker recovering herself. Then Mrs. Parker, she got the sense. She was not senseless. She was just motionless. She was unable to speak. 
uh, means she was unable to realize what to speak and how to react. Mrs. Parker, that's all right. I'm not afraid, but I was thinking of you boys. Then Mrs. Parker is speaking. No, no, I'm not afraid, but I'm thinking of you boys. I'm thinking of you. You will have to start back for the village as soon as you have had a cup of tea. And then Mrs. Parker is speaking. You just take your tea as soon as possible. Then go back to your home. Go back to the village as soon as possible because I'm qu quite worried for you. Your mother will be worried out of her life if you are not at home before long. Means before time, if you are not reaching at home, then definitely your mother is going to be worried. Who is speaking? Mrs. Parker is speaking. So all these words are expressing that Mrs. Parker was having motherly attitude, motherly affection towards these two boys. It is visible from her words only. Crossing right. Wait one moment and I will bring two more cups. Exit right. Then she is speaking. That you just wait. I am bringing two more cups so that I can give you tea. Alice. Above table now. Who would have thought Mrs. Parker would be nervous of a convict? Then Alice is speaking. Huh? She was, he was quite surprised. Mrs. Parker is surprised. He was scared of the convict. She has lived alone in this cottage for the last six months. Because since last six months, she has been living in this cottage. And has never shown the slightest fear or tram or of anything else for that matter. Here, Trump means what a vagabond. Vagabond means what a homeless person. A person who travels here and there without a settled home. And here Alice is speaking that Mrs. Parker is showing concern. She is looking scary. But Mrs. Parker, she has been living here alone. Until now, she has never ever showed this type of attitude. Or of anything else for that matter at just now. She looked as frightened as a rabbit. Then he is speaking that Mrs. Parker is looking as frightened as a rabbit. Tom, ah, well, as my dad says, they, where women are concerned, the unexpected always happen. This is not true. Okay. Tom is speaking that according to his father, where women are present, the unexpected things will happen. Okay, means you are expecting something and something else will happen in that particular place. I am not speaking, spoken by Tom. Then, in the left side door, there was a knock. Alice, hello, who can be this? Tom rising, let's soap. It's not one of the convicts. Then there was the knock on the door. And then Tom and Alice are talking. Who is there? Who is there? It's not the convict. Alice, I wondered if I'd better open the door or call Mrs. Parker. Then he's speaking. Either I shall call Mrs. Parker or I shall open the door. Tom picking up toasting fork fork and holding it. Toasting fork means what? A long handed fork which is used to toast the bread. Okay, toasting fork. So Tom is picking up the fork and standing, holding, just holding behind like this. Open the door. And Tom is speaking. Come on, open the door. Alice, if it's a convict, we will be ready for him. Then Alice is speaking. If the person is a convict, we are ready for him. Alice opens the door enter Joe Badger then Joe Badger this person and when the door was opened by the two boys this person entered Joe good evening I have called to see Mrs. Parker what be you two kids doing here then Joe is speaking good evening I am here to talk to Mrs. Parker but by the way what you two boys are doing here Alice hello Joe we are also here to see Mrs. Parker and by the way, there is no need for that word. Kids, you are not quite 99 years old yet. Then Alice is speaking. Hello Joe, we have come here to see Mrs. Parker and by the way, don't use the word kid because you are not 99 years old. Who is speaking? Alice is speaking that you are not 99 years old. That's why you should not call us kid. So, boys of your heads should be kept at home when there be dangerous criminal at large. At large means free. Then Joe is speaking that boys of your age should remain inside the home when some dangerous criminals are at free, when dangerous criminals are on road. Do you know there may be a couple of convicts prowling about the house at this moment? Then Joe is speaking that do you know? There might be the couple of convict, they might uh, the couple of culprit, they might be moving here and there 
hiding themselves so that no one would be able to recognize them and they might have taken shelter here somewhere near the cottage. Tom replacing toasting fork then he just placed the toasting fork. As a matter of fact I picked this off in case you were one of them then why? Keeping it on the table speaking you know what I was just holding this one with the hope that one of the convict is knocking on the door. That's why to attack the person I am holding the fork. And enters Mrs. Parker, right, carrying tray of cups and saucers. Then Mrs. Parker enters, he was carrying cups and saucers. Mrs. Parker to Joe, why Joe, what are you doing here on such an evening? Then she is also surprised, he is asking Joe, Joe, why have you come here? Joe, crossing left corner, I have just come to ask you a few questions, Mrs. Parker. And seeing, I am helping my uncle, the constable of the village, I am hoping as you will be so kind I ask to answer them. <clears throat> then Joe is speaking that I have come here to ask you a few questions because I want to help my uncle who is the constable in the village and I hope you are going to answer it in a proper way. Who is speaking? Joe is speaking to Mrs. Parker. <laughs> Mrs. Parker setting down tree. Well Joe, I will do my best. Will you have a cup of tea? Then Mrs. Parker is speaking. Okay Joe, no issue. I will answer your question, but will you have a cup of tea? Jo, no thanks, I have no time for tea when this be man's work to do. With a melodramatic gesture, somewhere out on those moors there be two desperate criminals ready to murder us all in our beds, maybe if they get the chance. Then Joe is speaking, no, I don't have the time to have tea. When there is the need of some emergency outside, there might be two criminals who are preparing themselves to kill us on the bed if it is needed if they are getting the chance they might be able to kill us that's why there is no time for the tea but we have to do some other work mrs parker pouring tea she was pouring tea i should not let that make you nervous joe they will probably be caught before night before nightfall then mrs parker speaking okay joe don't worry they will be caught before nightfall who is speaking mrs parker is speaking joe angrily nervous Make me nervous. It takes more than a couple of gold birds to scare me. Then Joe is speaking nervous. Who is nervous? A couple of gold birds. Gold bird means what? Prisoners. A couple of prisoners. They will make me to scare. Who is speaking? Joe is speaking to Mrs. Parker. As a matter of fact, I am hoping to catch one of them myself after long or after it's too late. I am expecting that I would be able to catch one of them. Understood it? It means here Joe is speaking to Mrs. Parker and he was there to ask some questions to Mrs. Parker. At the same time, she was also expecting that he would be able to catch one of the prisoners before nightfall. Okay, understood? I have taught you up to paragraph number 24. Okay, so from paragraph number 25, we are going to read in the next class. So till that time, have a good time. But watch the video sincerely and honestly. Okay? Have a good day.